Hello dear students let us continue our chapter plants and environment so dear students in the last class we learned about adaptations of aquatic plants today we shall learn about adaptations of plant according to food habits so dear students plants which produce food have green leaves and a well developed root system leaves are positioned in such a way that they receive maximum sunlight right yes now let us see how the adaptations of plant take place in food habits there are two types parasitic plants and insectivorous plants what are parasitic plants they have a special root using these roots they absorb the food and water from other plants cascata is one such plant for parasitic plants cascata is an example okay students they are a special root and these roots absorb food and water from other plants okay yes insectivorous plants they have special structure to trap and digest insect for example pitcher plant pitcher plant has a pitcher a pot like structure with a flap the flap produces nectar that attracts insects the rim of the pitcher is slippery so the insect slips inside the pitcher is deep moreover the inside wall is difficult to climb so insect drown and dissolve in the liquid present inside the pitcher let us see the parts of pitcher now as i said flap you can see the flap right it is a pot like structure it is a pot like structure and that is known as flap the flap produce nectar okay students the flap produce nectar to attract insect what is rim this is this is flap rim you can see right yes rim it is a slippery pitcher where the insect slip inside okay and pitcher this is pitcher so the pitcher is deep the moreover the insect inside wall is difficult to climb so the insect drown and dissolve in the liquid present inside the pitcher i hope you all understood what is parasitic plants and insectivorous plants okay let us continue this session in the next class thank you class enjoy learning